Hello good people and welcome to Finest Skills Hub here. We learn, we connect and we grow. In this short video, we are going to learn how to build a progress chart to compare our actual and budget numbers. So first, we understand the concepts in Excel and how to create it in Excel, then apply it to a Power BI report. Then we also explore the new card visual in Power BI and how we can use it to create dynamic annotations so that if we don't achieve our budget, we have a red, and then if we achieve or overachieve, we have a green. So there are a lot of good things in here. Join me in Excel and Power BI, and let's go through this together. Okay, so let's begin by exploring our final work. This is a Power BI report. It's comparing the revenue, cost, profit, and profit margin for our branches. Now, the focus here is in terms of profitability, we want to see if the branches met their budget or not. So I have realized and unrealized here. So if I select a particular branch, okay, and they met their target, it tells me how much they've realized. And if they've not, these are 10 red. In a situation where they have, like the Northern region, if I select that, they have overachieved, so they've realized 100%, the bar is full, and even the variance, which is a positive variance, shows up here, right? So that is what we want to create. So we created this using the 100% stacked bar chart, and then we used the new card visual in Power BI to achieve this. So let's learn how we built this particular portion right from scratch. Okay, so let's start off in Excel. I have dummy data here, actual 3,000 and then budget of 10,000. So to help us get the 100% stack bar charts, give us the realized and unrealized portions, we have to basically do three calculations. The first one is the variance, right? So the variance is how far are we off the target. So here I can take the actual value, okay, subtract it from the budget, okay, all of this, and then I'll divide this by the budget. Okay, so when I have this, it tells me that for this particular number, we are 70% off target. So that's the variance. Now, out of this variance, we want to calculate the amount that we have realized. Okay, so at least if you calculate off head, this is 30%, but let's find a dynamic way to calculate this. So it is going to be one, okay, plus the variance, right? So this is always going to give us the part that we have realized. So the challenge here is that in a situation where we overachieve our budget, example, if I change this from 3,000 to 15,000, okay, we don't want the bar to read 150%. We want it capped at 100%. Okay, so to help us get that cap of 100%, we'll have to edit this formula. So we are going to introduce a main formula. So the main formula is going to cap the 100%. So we'll put in one and the calculation. So anytime we exceed, then we bounce back to one, which is the 100%. Okay, so this is always going to show us 100% for the full bar. Now that we have this, let's calculate the unrealized. Okay, so the unrealized is going to be the so let me bring this back to 3000. So we have 70 and 30 here. So for the unrealized, it's actually going to be the inverse okay, of the variance. So I'll put a minus sign here and then negates this one. Okay. So at every point in time, I have these two, the realized and unrealized, to give me my 100% stacked bar chart. But again, if we overachieve, so if I do this 15,000, okay, you realize that I want this to be zero, right? So if that happens, then it means I have to introduce a max formula here. So I'll introduce a max formula and then zero. And then in that case, if you overachieve, okay, this reads zero, right? So that's how we are going to do this in Power BI. Of course, when we have this in Excel, we can now Take these two okay and then insert our chart here so i'm going to use the 100 percent stacked bar chart okay so if i come here
this is the 100% stacked bar chart, right? Okay, so if I insert this, this is going to give us that 100% stacked bar chart in Excel. So let's say if I do 8,000, okay, it moves all the way. If I do 15,000, okay, the whole bar gets full, right? So that's the same concept we are going to implement in Power BI, right? So let's bounce to Power BI and apply this. Okay, so from what we did in Excel, let's apply the same thing in Power BI. I have my measures here already. I have a measures table. So the focus here is on the budget profit and the actual profit. These are the two we are going to use. So for starters, I want to create the variance, right? So I'll click on my measures, right click new measure. So when this pops up, I can now name this variance. Okay. So let me increase the font a bit so you can see. So as we learned, the variance is going to be dividing the actual profit. Okay, so you subtract this from the budget profit. Okay, so that is going to be the numerator, right? And then we would divide all this by the budget profit. Okay, now there's an alternate result. So if there's an error, we prefer to get a blank, right? So that's why you should always use divide. Okay, so I'll press enter and then when I press enter, it's best to format this as a percentage. Okay, so I'll do that right away. Okay, so now that we have our variance, let's go and calculate our realized. So the same process, I'll come to my measures, right click, new measure. Okay, so this is going to be the budget we have achieved. Okay, so I'll call this realized. Okay, so this is going to be min of one okay and then one plus variance okay so that is going to give us our realized okay so again we we'll press enter and then once that is also through you have to format it as a percentage as well okay then finally we'll go in and calculate the unrealized portion so i'll come again my measures new measures Okay, and then we'll calculate the unrealized. So this is going to be max zero, okay, minus variance, right? So max zero minus variance. So we have this, okay, and I'll press enter. So we have now our three key measures, right? So let me also format this as a percentage. Okay. So now that we have our three measures, let's at least see them using a card. So if I select them directly, so this is going to be my realized for the branch that I have selected. So for Bronga Hafo, they have 100%. So I'll push this here. Okay. And then they are unrealized. Go off and then select this. Right, because they have achieved, overachieved, I must say, their unrealized comes to 0%, and then their variance, which is the positive variance, okay, also comes in here, right? So if I select any other branch, for example, the Eastern region, okay, in their case, they have realized only 45, the unrealized is 54, and then the negative variance is also here, right? So I'm going to now create a 100% stacked bar chart with, this, with these two, right? The realized and unrealized. So I'll come here to my visuals and then insert a 100% stacked bar chart, right? So this is my 100% stacked bar chart. So I'll just position it. It's going to occupy this whole area. And the data I'm going to put in here, okay, so here I'm going to put in my realized, so I'll add this data, and then I'll add my unrealized here as well. Right, so that's what we have. Now let me expand this a bit, and then we work on the formatting. So I'll click on the format icon, come to more options here, right? 
So to give us more room, what we are going to do is to turn off the title, okay? And then I'll also turn the X axis, okay? So I'm only left with the bar. And then when I come in here, there's a title here too that I don't need. So I'll get rid of that. Okay, so we just have the bar. We are going to use the new card to give us the details. Okay, so I now have this. Now, let's go to the bar and just be sure we have the right colors. So when I come to the bar, now the realized is the gray portion. I don't want that. I want to invert it. So the realized should rather be my purple. Okay, and then the unrealized should be my gray. Okay, so this way it fills from the left to the right. Okay, so now that we have this out of the way, let's now put in the labels. Now, we have this in three cards at the moment, but we can put it all in one card, and that is where the new card visual comes in very handy. So I'm going to delete these. Okay, and then instead of three cards, okay, I'm going to insert the new card visual, which is here. Okay, so I'll insert it and then just drag it down here. So with this, I can add many measures instead of one. So first, I'm going to put in my drag it here. So first, I'm going to put in realized. Okay, so I'll put in my realized, add my unrealized. And then finally add my variance. So you realize that all these three are now coming in one card. I'll have it here. Okay. Now let's go through some options for formatting. So if I click on this, right, you realize that I have the option to work on the layout and the cut. But for starters, let's concentrate on the shape. Okay, so I'll go into the shape. Instead of the default rectangle, this visual allows you to use rounded rectangle, which I think is beautiful. Okay, you have the option to customize that as well. Okay, we can go to the color values. So the color values are the values you see in there. I'll reduce the font to 15. Okay, to give me more space. And then I'll choose Verdana as my font. Okay, then I have the option to center this as well okay so there are a lot of options that makes it very very handy right now beyond this okay i can also work on the ascent cards right so let's let me just go through that for you so we just finished the cards so these are the options so i can work on one of them or all now when i come here i have the option to add an ascent bar right so this is a nice strip i can add either to the left bottom or top right so you realize that i have a little black shape on the left okay i can increase it okay so if i increase it to five you realize that it comes or seven it comes in now let me just position this nicely okay so i'll just push this in here like that so what we want to do is in the event we have not fully realized our budget we want these ascents to turn red but if you have achieved or overachieved you want it to be green okay so i can come in here okay and then i'll come to the cut and then in the ascent bar i have the option to put in a formula or conditional format right so i'll come and then I want to set it to a rule, so I'll choose a rule and then base it on the variance. So you know the variance has negative if we have not achieved and positive if we have achieved or achieved. So that is the rule I'm going to use here. So I'm going to say that if my number basically is less than zero and greater than whatever minimum, okay, I want this color. Okay, I'll go to more colors. I've already copied the hex code for my red, so that is going to be this one. So I'll push it in here and then I'm going to add a new rule. 
So I'll add a new rule and then say that if it's greater than zero and less than whatever maximum that I have here. So I'll type in max here and then my color for green is going to be, I've already copied this here. So this is the green that I want. Okay. So I can now click and then I now have these. Okay. So if in the event of Eastern region, we've not achieved yet. So this is going to turn red as you can see then if i come to the northern region they have overachieved so the bar initially fails and then i have my hundred percent means we have fully realized this budget there's nothing to take here and then the variance which is a positive is 66.94 and then if i come back to the eastern region i have that so it's an exciting addition i, I think there are a lot more you can add images you can even add spark lines and all that Right, so hopefully you get how to apply this in Excel and Power BI. Please practice and add it to your list of Excel and Power BI tricks. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.